Hey guys, I'm Hannah Smith with QEC TV, and today we're here at the Chesapeake Heritage and Visitor Center, where Heather Tonelli will be hosting a ribbon cutting and a dedication to the reimagining and reopening of the Visitor Center. We'll keep this short and sweet today because I know it's, it's cold outside. We made sure to pick this day because of how cold and windy it is. It's very representative of uh, 2020 this year. <laughs> Let's just add it in, right? Um, thank you guys so much for coming out today as we reopen our Chesapeake Heritage and Visitor Center. You can see from up here, we've even start, got new signage so that when our uh, travelers and visitors come in, that they get to see the new facelift that we've uh, presented here in the center. Um, the project started in the summer of 2019, so it was before I came aboard here. And we were able to get it done more quickly because during COVID with things being shut down and the center being closed, they were able to speed up the process. So during this summer, we actually did the construction and um, chose the imagery and, and all that good stuff and, and actually made it happen. This was possible through a $50,000 matching grant through Mer Maryland Heritage Area Authority and also from the support of the commissioners as they uh, assisted us with the other half of that funding. Uh, we feel that first impressions are so important and if m any of you have visited our center beforehand, it was fine, but it needed some love. We wanted to make sure that when people walked in that they knew who Queen Anne's County was and all that we have to offer. And we really feel like this center has made that possible. Um, I, I did want to take a minute to give a special uh, shout out to Lisa Gallo, who works with me and has worked here well before I came aboard. Uh, she's the reason that this happened. Uh, she was here from the very beginning and also made sure that it moved forward in the summertime because for a while it was just Lisa and I here and she chose all the imagery that you see inside there and really step by step and pushed it through and pushed me through to make it happen. So without her, this would not be here. So I'm really thankful to her. I also wanted to introduce Corinne. She's here. She just started in November. We're so thankful to have her and she played a part in today as well. Uh, this was truly a county effort, which was wonderful as being that I am new. It was nice to see how the whole county came together. Department of Public Works was instrumental in the construction and rehab. They also helped us with the RFP process. When you walk in, you'll see uh, to the right here, there's a touch, tone, uh, touch screen that has maps and interactive videos. And that was courtesy of QAC TV and Mike Francis helped us with that. We also have running video and another TV in the back that shows weather and commercials and things to do in the area. So I really feel like we've stepped up our game in a, in a lot of ways. Um, also, a lot of our mapping was done by the GIS department, Tyler there, so that was great. And then Kettneros Development Foundation and Gigi helped us with the Kettneros uh, side of things that you'll see if you haven't seen it already when you come in. We're now open Monday through Friday. We're not open on the weekends due to COVID and during the winter time, we don't have as many visitors come through. Um, and also, last but not least, if you've seen our sign, if you knew what it looked like before, we're really thankful to have our new sign. First thing you see when you come in, it, it really makes a difference. Um, so I just wanted to thank you all for coming out today. And I'd like to have Todd Mon, our county administrator, just say a few words and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> Let me take this off, Lola. But thanks very much. And I can't, I can't say enough about Heather and her new team. She's been here about a year now. And, yeah. and we're very fortunate to have, have her on board now working with our Chamber of Commerce. We appreciate their support. Kent Naris Foundation. We're very happy to, to unveil this new visitor center, and it's uh, it's been it's been interesting with the COVID. It, it did allow things to move quicker, um, and we didn't have disruption to the visitors. You know, not by by choice. We had plans to do all that, but we're 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 happy now that we can reopen. We hope we get through this uh, this pandemic here in the next uh, month or two with the vaccines coming out, and we can open fully. But this is just the beginning of the project. Really, we have other plans to to freshen up the uh, the parking lot area, the outside, the, the space, the bulkhead here at our visitor center. So we're looking forward to continuing that effort and making this the uh, uh, focal point of the Kent Narrows going forward. So I thank everybody for being here today and uh, and uh, we, we look forward to, to more projects ahead in the future down here in the Kent Narrows with everybody. So thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Gail, could we like to have Gail Owens with his executive director with the Eastern Shore Heritage Incorporated and stories of the Chesapeake say a few words as well. Thank you. Sure. 
Um, I'm here on behalf of the Stories of the Chesapeake Heritage Area, which enabled the grant from the Maryland Heritage Area Authority and the Maryland Heritage Area Authority. Just to let you know that we are so excited to be working with Queen Anne's County, and we are thrilled to be able to fund these kinds of projects that help tell the stories of our counties, of the Chesapeake, and spread the tourism economic development throughout the state. Thank you. All right, now for what you've all been waiting for, we'd like to go ahead and have Linda Friday, the Executive Director of the Queen Anne's County Chamber, come up and help us with the ribbon cutting. Right, here's the new beginnings, and 2020 didn't get us. We were going to win on this one. <laughs>